<laughs> China has banned its soldiers from wearing the new Apple Watch over concerns of cybersecurity, said one Chinese soldier, but my daughter made it for me. <laughs> well, the... <laughs> I stand by it. Yeah. <laughs> Political experts note that the five Democratic senators who have announced runs for president have not attacked each other yet because they're friends. But that'll change soon because one sassy little bitch didn't come here to make friends. <laughs> and I'm sure that he was grateful that it's all over and he's completely ready to move on. All of the Democrat politicians, they have to be accountable. <laughs> It's like if Scrooge woke up on Christmas morning, discovered he had a second chance at life, then found Tiny Tim and took a crowbar to his good leg. <laughs> a man in Australia has been bitten by a venomous spider on his penis for the second time in five months. <laughs> Fool me once, said the guy who had to suck out the poison. I mean, what would a Kanye West and Donald Trump meeting even be? It's like those old cartoons when Scooby-Doo meets with the Harlem Globetrotters. He's like, why? How, how would that even help? The, what, what would that do? I mean, at this point, if Native Americans are asking us for anything, can't we just give it to them? We've basically treated them like Milton from Office Space. We just keep moving them to worse and worse areas and pretending we're doing them a favor. And this one spot in North Dakota is their stapler. Just let them have the stapler. Donald Trump has signed 18 executive orders in his first 12 days as president. Now, that sounds like a lot, but keep in mind that it is a lot. <laughs> Everything people said Donald Trump couldn't do, he just does. His slogan should have been, yes, we can. <laughs> you can't ban Muslims. Yes, we can. <laughs> I want to know, what did the 7% of white people get arrested for? What, was they not arresting enough black people? <laughs> the review found that 88% of the cases involving the use of force were against African Americans. Black residents say they found the police report almost as shocking as they found the police tasers. <laughs> Pennsylvania woman was arrested for allegedly giving her six-month-old son cocaine. But on the bright side, he did say his first million words. <laughs> A new study finds that people who like grilled cheese sandwiches have more sex. Read more about it in this month's issue of what? <laughs> Officials in England reburied remains of King Richard III after his bones were discovered underneath a parking lot three years ago. So this time, everyone remember, he's buried in C8. <laughs> It's being reported that the CIA believes Russia influenced our presidential election in favor of Donald Trump. You see, feel better now, popular vote? <laughs> no? Okay. At this point, telling us in support of women. And they should support women, because now if you're a woman and you hear Tic Tac shaking in someone's pocket, it's like hearing the Jaws theme. <laughs> or, on the other hand, Tic Tacs could just run right at it. Tic Tacs, grab bad breath by the <laughs> And then this morning, Trump tweeted, nothing ever happened with any of these women, totally made up nonsense. Nobody has more respect for women than me. Now, of course, we know when Trump tweets, he sometimes makes some typos. So maybe let's just correct that one at the end for him. Yeah. Nobody inspects <laughs> women more than me. Yes, I got that. While appearing on MSNBC, Kellyanne Conway defended President Trump's travel ban by referencing what she called the Bowling Green Massacre, which is a terrorist attack that never happened. <laughs> in response, Congress immediately launched an investigation into Hillary Clinton's role in the Bowling Green Massacre. <laughs> His campaign manager this week was sentenced to four years in prison, and for Trump, that's good news. <laughs> Paul Manafort, who looks like he was born divorced, <laughs> Faced up, to, faced up to 24 years in prison, but only got four years, probably in a minimum security white collar facility with a bunch of his friends. The guy stole over $50 million and he basically got sentenced to college. Two men in New Jersey were arrested with $150 million worth of opioids. For reference, here's what $150 million worth of opioids looks like. 
The FBI raided the home, office, and hotel room of President Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, this week. Authorities first became suspicious of Cohen when they found out he was the lawyer for Donald Trump. <laughs> this does not look good for Trump. If being black has taught me anything, is that when the feds come kicking in your door, they got something. <laughs> FBI raids are like when your girl goes through your phone. She's only doing it to confirm whatever she already knows. New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez was indicted this week on federal corruption charges. It's no surprise, considering that a senator taking a bribe is the New Jersey state seal. Users are only coming out now for fame and publicity. Yeah, that's every little girl's dream, to be forever known as the seventh woman groped by Donald Trump. He also believes these accusations are part of a conspiracy to rig the election. Only Donald Trump could have sex scandals, no political experience, poll at 0% with minorities, and still say, if I lose, it's rigged. <laughs> New research shows that the pre-human Lucy probably lived in trees. So either pre-humans were more ape-like than previously thought, or that bitch cray. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I mean, you don't expect Tom Brady to tell the ref, hey, let me try that touchdown pass again. The ball was deflated. <laughs> I guess Donald Trump was just acting like a patriot. <laughs> Lindsey Vaughn announced that she and Tiger Woods have broken up, while Tiger Woods announced that, woohoo! <laughs> California is considering a new law that would fine actors in pornographic movies up to $70,000 if they don't wear condoms, said the porn industry. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do to us if we don't have the money? It's a real thing. And I get that it's hard to pronounce a lot of these names. But that's what makes award shows so fun. I mean, just imagine John Travolta as he introduces the wickedly talented Davido Olajuwon. But <laughs> definitely white. Yes. Trump says the ban is to prevent radical Islamic terrorists in America. But first of all, what is radical Islam? That's just too subjective of a term. I have a Muslim friend. He doesn't eat pork and he doesn't have sex with white women. Now, to me, that's mad radical. <laughs> The Blue Moon Diamond, which sold at auction for $48 million, was bought by a billionaire for his seven-year-old daughter, which raises the disturbing question, did that guy cheat on his daughter? <laughs> Election officials in Florida said their ballot machines overheated, causing mismatched results in the recount. Word? They overheated in 2018 with all this technology? I have a watch that can count every step I take and lets me watch porno on the treadmill for motivation. It's like when you wake up hungry and there's nothing in your fridge, but you check again 20 minutes later as if something good is gonna magically appear. But nope, just tang and prunes. That's a weird fridge. <laughs> It didn't even feel like I was watching a debate. It felt like I was watching a divorced couple fight for custody of a kid that hates them both. <laughs> a federal investigation concluded that the city of Chicago's police officers use excessive force and unfairly target minorities. Oh, so that was the problem. <laughs> you know, as a black dude that grew up in, as Colin puts it, the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I, liberals did not see this coming because we're too segregated. It's like we forget there's another half of the country. I didn't think anybody would vote for Trump, just like I didn't think a Medea Halloween would be the number one movie in America. <laughs> I mean, who would choose that? <laughs> Democrats got too cocky, man. They were like the Golden State Warriors winning 73 games. They won so often that they didn't think they could lose again. But then they got their ass kicked in Ohio. Yeah. Trump may have a point. It does seem like virtually every media outlet is doing everything in their power to prevent a Trump presidency. The media is acting like the sober, the sober girls at a bar making sure their country doesn't go home with that scuzzy orange dude. They're like, America, no, get in the car, we're going home with Hillary. <laughs> Doctor, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Police in Nebraska arrested a man for marijuana possession after discovering the drug in his car inside a container that was marked not weed. <laughs> was marked not weed. The police pulled the man over after he sped by their car, which was also marked not police. 
The Labor Department announced that last month employers added more than 250,000 jobs. But it looks like this fool just lost his! <laughs> You change, B. White women. Well, they said suburban women, but we all know that suburban means white, right? I mean, if they said ethnic women, nobody's like, oh, you mean the Irish? <laughs> also, white women, don't try to appropriate blindly voting for the Democrats. That's our thing, okay? It will be kind of fun to see white women get their votes uh, suppressed like us. Imagine 200 Megans crying outside a polling station because they literally cannot. I'm are taking offense at the use of the word crippled. I'm more concerned about his use of the word again. Like, what years are you talking about specifically, dude? Whenever rich old white guys start bringing up the good old days, my Negro senses start tingling. <laughs> I mean, after all those years of progress, Trump's gonna really go with, nah, I think we had it right the first time. <laughs>